All right, so another example here of using our sum and difference identities. Um, so suppose we just want to simply evaluate cosine of 15 degrees. Well, we can write 15 degrees as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. And now we can use this uh, bottom identity. So it says if you have cosine of something minus something, it says you take cosine of the first thing, which is 45 degrees, you multiply it by cosine of the second thing, which is 30 degrees. Um, if there's a negative sign in between, a minus sign in between, though, it says you turn it into a plus when you expand it out. And then you use sine of the first uh, quantity, which is 45 degrees, and then we multiply it by sine of the second quantity, which is 30 degrees. Okay, and now it's just, again, kind of knowing uh, some trig values. So cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. Uh, cosine of 30 degrees is going to be root 3 over 2. Sine of 45 degrees, again, root 2 over 2. Sine of 30 degrees is going to be 1 half. So, okay, it looks like uh, we're getting square root of 6 over 4 plus 2 over the square root, excuse me, the square root of 2 over 4. Um, and again, we can write this as a single fraction, square root of 6 plus uh, the square root of 2 over 4. And I think that's actually the, uh, the same value that we figured out a second ago, right? We said, uh, I think in our first problem, we figured out that sine of 75 degrees was also this value. So does it make sense from a geometric point of view? So, you know, just a little side question. Does it make sense that sine of 75 degrees would, in fact, be the same as cosine of 15 degrees? So maybe think if that seems reasonable to you, but definitely we've used this identity um, in the correct manner. This certainly is the correct answer.